But before that, let's write a note what we have just discussed. One note, small note. In the spectrum of narrow band FM, in the spectrum of narrow band FM, lower side band LSB is out of phase, out of phase with respect to AM by 180 degrees. Okay. Now, question, drill question. Write the question, a name signal a name signal and narrow band FM signal having same modulation index are added. Are, are added. Question is the resultant signal is let's see who can do this in one minute option A AM option B double sideband option C single sideband option D single sideband with carrier Okay guys, the right answer is option B. Why? Let's see. Guys, both are having same modulation index. So given is, you will 100% understand that mu is equal to beta. We know that spectrum of AM looks like what? So it looks like this. So you have an impulse here, SC by 2, another impulse, SC mu by 4, if you recall, and SC mu by 4. This is FC, this is FC plus FM, this is FC minus FM, okay, this is 0, same AC by 2, and this is also same, this is your AM. Now we just drew a spectrum of narrow band FM, since mu and beta is same, so I will also write it as AC by 2 and this will be AC beta since same so I will also write AC mu by 4 but this will be reverse and similarly this will be negative. Now look at this guys. If I say that these two are same and opposite, these two will cancel each other? Yes or no? Similarly, cancel each other? Yes or no, guys? So what will happen? You are only getting a single sideband but with carrier. It is single sideband with carrier. This is your single sideband, upper sideband. If I have to write very sincerely, uh, sincerely I will write you are getting upper sideband with carrier. This is more accurate. More accurate. But the option, as for the option, answer is option D. Any confusion, please ask.
Now guys, when we talk about bandwidth and power, it is same as with as what we have in name, right? Okay, so that the amplitude power that you have written, AC mu square by two those terms. Sir, is that the amplitude or power that you have written? Uh, okay, okay, I got it. So that is area under the impulse. So what I've written AC mu by four or AC mu by, you know, uh, AC beta by four, these are area under the impulse. To get power, you have to square those terms and then you get the power. Okay, clear? Now guys, uh, since it is similar to AM, that's why bandwidth and power, it is same what we got in AM. So right, since since the magnitude spectrum of narrow band FM signal, since the magnitude spectrum of narrow band FM signal is same as AM, is same as AM. So that bandwidth and power are same. So that bandwidth and power are same. Okay. So that bandwidth and power are same. So bandwidth, what it be the bandwidth? Bandwidth will be twice FM only and power will be pc1 plus beta square by 2 please keep in mind and that's the reason since it is so similar to m it doesn't have any application so write another note so write another note that practically practically narrow band FM is not used because of similarity to AM because of its similarity to AM because of its similarity to AM Another drill question guys, that was asked in gate 2006, please attempt, right, a massive signal, a massive signal band limited to, ten kilohertz, is lower side band, modulated with carrier frequency of 1 megahertz the resultant signal the resultant signal is passed through A narrow band FM modulator having a carrier frequency having a carrier frequency of one gigahertz. Oh my God, one gigahertz. Determine the bandwidth of this signal at the output at the at output it is fill in the blanks
क्वेश्चन सेज अ मैसेज सिग्नल इज बैंड लिमिटेड टू टेन किलो हॉर्स सो एंड देन इट गोज इन टू अस लोअर साइड बैंड मॉडलेटेड विथ कैरियर फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ वन मेगा हॉर्स so it goes into a modulator if i try to draw the block diagram so it is ssb lower side carrier frequency is 1 mega hertz right and it is band limited to 10 kilohertz i can say it is 10 it is minus 10 this is 0 then the output goes into another modulator which is narrow band fm modulator and its cut off uh, sorry carrier frequency is 1 gigahertz 1 giga is 1000 megahertz so let's keep it like this determine the bandwidth of the signal at output right clear now this is a question and go step by step don't take me wrong but don't jump don't be so smart So please go step by step. What would happen here? So we will be looking at something like this, and this is SSB. So it will be something like this. We are going to go there. So you get this, and you get this. No, no. Yes. Right. Almost look same, right, guys? Yep. now this will be what you are doing with 1 mega hertz it will be uh, i don't want to go into kilo hertz so it will be 20 so it will be 0 will go to 1 so 1000 and this will be 990 i am converted into you know kilo hertz and this is also minus 1000 Minus 990, but this is in kilohertz, guys. Okay, this is in kilohertz. Right. Now the next step says that we go into a narrow band FM modulator. So what will happen? This will be shifted in the right and shifted in the left. So the this frequency will be somewhere here. Okay. Somewhere here, and that is thousand megahertz. So this zero will come there, and then you will have this guy, something like this, and you have something like this. Now, since you are going to add thousand kilo megahertz, you just convert into mega. So it will be point nine nine and one, and similarly it will be minus point nine nine minus one. So now this is in megahertz. Now if you want to add thousand megahertz, so this will become this will become thousand one, and this will become because you are adding thousand megahertz here. So this minus one. So guys, you are adding thousand, 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 right? Thousand, thousand. At this step, what will happen? Minus thousand minus one means nine nine nine. I don't give a damn what is that, but what is the difference? Two megahertz. Don't waste time in computing these two frequencies. And similarly, we'll be having the look at this. Bingo. Harsha is asking, can we calculate beta? You want to calculate beta from here? It's not possible. No. Okay. You are asking, how did I consider? And this is B. Read the question. Lower side band modulated. Only lower side bands. So it is single side band, na? LSB or OSB, right? It is single side band. LSB means what? Lower side band means single side band. Harsha, we cannot calculate beta in this course. We can calculate beta in general. In this question, we cannot calculate beta because I can't see anything which is relating the, you know, 
know our amplitude ah, that formula is there but do you know k no we know m we don't know what is this they are not given in the question i am talking about this question and you are talking about fm but that beta formula is for uh, single tone this is not single tone this is multi tone generally nobody will ask beta in this type of question beta is always asked for single tone modulation are we there clear there is solution without drawing this signal yeah uh, there is a solution you can always have a solution uh, you can do in hawame okay she wants to know the same trick so i can give it to her so just watch uh, swati so you had minus 10 10 10 you are multiplying with 1 megahertz right so it will become what it will become shift So it will become thousand ten nine ninety to the right. To the left, it will be minus thousand ten to minus nine ninety. So this is here. Shifted in the right, shifted in the left, and guys, this is in kilohertz. Okay. Now again, you are shifting the right, but this time thousand megahertz. So what will happen? What will happen, guys? It will be the and zero has become thousand, right? So there is a thousand also. So that thousand kilohertz one, so everything will shift. So what will happen? That what you see as thousand ten, right? So at thousand thousand ten nine ninety, this is correct. Minus nine ninety minus thousand ten, then it goes into one thousand. So again, you will shift. But if you convert into megahertz, okay, okay. But you have to also take care that this is lower side band, so you will be only taking thousand. Yes, this is the trick I was getting trapped, and you have to only take minus thousand. This is a trap here, guys. So what I ideally will do, since it's lower side band, let me write it again. Since it is lower side band. So you will write. So actually, shifting the right will give you thousand uh, ten, but you will write thousand nine ninety minus thousand nine ninety, guys. Okay. So I think I will do. And then you are again adding thousand. So it is thousand kilohertz in megahertz. It will be one point nine minus point nine minus one. If you add thousand on this. So this will go to another thousand one, and this will come to nine nine nine. Okay, right? And that is for only for the positive frequency. It will be somewhere here. It will be somewhere here. We don't know, uh, but we just know that this is the minimum. This is the maximum. Answer is two megahertz. So there is always a trick to solve this question without going into the graph and all. Okay. Come on. They have already said that it's an FM signal, means cos two pi. FCT plus beta one sine two pi f one t plus beta two sine two pi f two t. Okay. Now, if you recall, I only made you write f i equal to one by two pi d theta by. Now, you know that this whole thing is theta t, right? So just put in the formula one upon two pi. Okay. Differentiate of differentiate this big term, which is two pi f c t plus beta one 
साइन टू पाई एफ पॉइंट थ्री प्लस बीटा टू साइन टू पाई एफ टू डी ओके सो इफ यू डिफरेंशिएट यू गेट वन अपॉन टू पाई डिफरेंशिएट यू गेट व्हाट टू पाई एफ सी प्लस डिफरेंशिएट गाइस बीटा वन टू पाई एफ वन साइन विल बिकम कॉस टू पाई एफ वन टी प्लस बीटा वन टू पाई एफ टू कॉस टू पाई एफ टू टी राइट टू पाई टू पाई विल कैंसल राइट एंड टू गेट मैक्सिमम डेविएशन यू वांट एफ आई मैक्स मेंस यू गेट एफ सी प्लस मेक इट वन सो इट विल बी बीटा एफ वन एंड मैक्स मेंस मेक इट दिस एस वेल वन beta 2 f2 so the maximum deviation is of what yes because from carrier we are talking so this is delta f max giving option a now i don't think anybody can have any misconception so it's a very well defined solution correct guys what you have learned you are using Question number three is uh, match the column list one attribute the list two the modulation system match the attribute to the modulation system that best meets it. List one says power efficient transmission signal. Option so we can write this option guys. Conventional AM FM VSB SSB suppressed carrier. Write somewhere could be list two so that we can match it from list one, and it is easy to match with list two because it, it is easy to write list two because it's small. Conventional aim cost FM VSB vestigial sideband and sideband single sideband with suppressed carrier. Write it down. Okay. Now tell me. Power efficient transmission signal. Most bandwidth efficient transmission of voice signal. Who does it? Simplest receiver structure. And the last one is bandwidth efficient transmission of signal with significant DC component. So I can know that I told you that SSB is more suitable for voice signal transmission. So Q should be mapped to four. Q should be mapped to four is an option B and option D, right? Correct, guys. Y signal we use SSB, right? So Q should be mapped to SSB suppressed carrier. Simplest receiver structure should be conventional AM. Envelope detector lagao and happy. So, so simplest R is mapped to one. R is mapped to one. in option b so answer is option b right because in option d r is mapped to 3 and p is mapped to 2 means power efficient transmission signal is fm that we know that and most bandwidth efficient transmission of y signal ssb bandwidth efficient transmission signal with significant dc component is vsb that's why video signal uh, we use video signal transmission by using vsb because if you recall the spectrum of video signal spectrum of video signal is this So it has significant DC component at zero. That's why we get a and and frequency there, right? Uh, look at this bandwidth efficient transmission of signal with significant DC component. So DC component is what? If you have DC component in time domain, you get something in in frequency domain at zero. You get here 
some substantial frequency, high frequency at zero, and that's why we said that we cannot use SSB for this because if you recall, la, refer my early lecture of SSB problem with SSB, right? So answer is option B. Anyway, thank you. Got it.